Hello everyone, hope everyone is very well and this is an absolutely cracking race I've got for you today. One of my best ever 1v1 duels in Gran Turismo Sport up against the GOAT, the legend that is Super GT. So I've got a decent quality time here, I'm in first place, it's a good quality time actually, in top split daily race B, Super GT in third. And the backstory here is that I've been very lucky to race Super GT quite a lot in Gran Turismo Sport, maybe more than 20 times. And I very, very, very rarely come out on top. He always just about manages to beat me because he's a better driver. <laughs> so I'm a little bit of an underdog here and I want to take you on the story. I want you to imagine that you're in the car right now. I want you to feel the pressure. We're going to talk about pressure in this video. We're going to talk about mentality. So you're in first place and you've got the GOAT of Gran Turismo Sport, the legend of Gran Turismo Sport YouTube in third place hunting you down how are you going to do we've done pretty well so far i have to say out of the gate through death chicane in reverse going into this very tricky hairpin where you don't want to go too narrow and i do okay not fighting the wheel too much on exit and we've eked out over a second gap this is pretty much as good as you're going to get in a daily race broken the toe already so no slipstream to the guys behind and they are fighting super duty and the german driver but it kind of felt like destiny that we're going to come together in the race and come together we did i can promise you that but i do want you to feel like you're in the car right now so i don't know what driver rating you are in Gran Turismo sport maybe a plus a b c d e i don't know but imagine if you've got the practice and you've got a good lap you're starting in first place and super gt is behind you would you feel any pressure let me know in the comments if you feel like you wouldn't because i can tell you that i definitely did start to feel some pressure and you're going to see it so as far as, as far as first laps go, this is a very good first lap for me. I'm looking like I'm the pole position man in the race. We've broken the toe with the driver behind. It's all looking pretty plain sailing so far, but racing doesn't work like that. Racing doesn't work in a vacuum and pressure can do strange things. See, one of the best examples of pressure in sports is Rory McIlroy in the Masters at golf, where he was the best golfer in the world. And on the back nine of the Masters, the last few holes before he was going to win the, the biggest prize in golf, he just completely crumbled. And this is a bit like that. So we add Desh Chicane into the mix where you can always die. And there we go. Bit of a chink in the armour already. So I've hit the wall on Desh Chicane. Looks like the two drivers behind did as well though because they haven't closed the gap. And Super GT has got a pass now. So no longer do I have a buff and the German driver's really dropped off. He's lost out to a Frenchman as well. So the Brits and the French taking over the German there. And Super GT within a second. Would you start to feel any pressure now? <laughs> Would you start to feel like, okay, this guy has beaten me pretty consistently every time we've raced. You know, is he just better than me at racing? Can I actually get out on top this time? I've got a better qualifying time. I'm starting higher up the grid. I've gone purple. Well, there everyone goes purple on lap two. Can I hold it together, basically? And as we're going to see, it's going to be this sector here, the last sector that I start to struggle with. This last complex here, Dragon Trials, he's reverse. Very tricky, blind apex on the entry. And then a very tricky exit because if you take too much speed, you run wide onto the grass and you will lose so much time down the straight. You can lose up to a second, depending on how bad you get it. And look at the gap already. It is down to less than seven tenths. That's very important in GT Sport. It means Super GT is in the slipstream. He absolutely batters away my fastest lap. I think he was about a second quicker. And he's only three tenths behind now. So there's two laps to go. And Super GT is bearing down on me. I can tell you I am starting to feel some pressure now. As so we're going to go through Death Chicane. This is where you want to be relaxed. You want to let the car do the work. You don't want to fight the wheel. Otherwise you will have problems. And we do okay there. And actually it's like Super GT behind hits the wall so I don't think Super GT is feeling any pressure at all but I must have been pretty good through there good line and it's always a risk that you can hit the wall and in fact we're going to extend that gap this is pretty critical this is a race critical moment a Super GT goes back behind the 7 tenths so he's no longer getting my slipstream which is very powerful in GT Sport as we all know how am I doing through these very tricky yeses you don't want to run too wide on the exit here you will hit the grass. Very, very tricky in reverse because you're going uphill. Much e much harder, sorry, than the, the normal way around, which is quite easy in comparison. Super GT, eight tenths. 
eight tenths as a gap. We've only got one more lap to go. Surely I'm not going to bottle it. This is where the narrator steps in. He did bottle it. But where? <laughs> going into this very tricky section again. And how do we do? We slide the wheels quite a bit. It's not the best exit. Super GT is now within the slip. So six tenths coming out of this corner. But as I said, if you don't get a good exit here, you get absolutely eaten up. So it's going to be four tenths now. It's going to be close to three tenths by the time we get to the braking zone. Two tenths, two and a half tenths. Is he going to think about going upside? Thinks about it, decides better. Very strategic. And this has been another hallmark of my race with Super GT. I'll put a card in the top right, some of the previous races I've had, but Super GT just always seems to get the upper hand on me on strategy. We have very tactical races, but he always seems to get the upper hand. So going through Death Chicane again, I properly barrel in. Super GT might graze it or just lift off a little bit more. But the gap is very close, less than three tenths. It's getting sweaty palms time now. As we do AK okay out of this corner, definitely it's, it's white of your eyes time now, it's, it's dogfight. Um, it's like in fighter jets when they're no longer using the missiles, they're using the cannons, that's where we are. It's so not really an overtaking opportunity through these S's. Can I hold on? It would be an incredible result if I could hold on, it. genuinely, it would... It would um, be a cool thing. I sent a message before the races we were grilling up saying, I don't I hope I'm not gonna bottle this. Um <laughs> so I, I set my stool out quite early. Um and then you saw I sent a message in the in-game chat as well. Here we go, last few corners, and the gap is five tenths. Surely I'm not gonna bottle it, and this is gonna be where you're gonna see pressure. This is what pressure does to you sometimes. Sliding it there, sliding it there. It doesn't look too bad. But that's all it takes at this level. Super GT is closing. And I was thinking, I can't believe it. The finish line is there. It's neck and neck. I'm still ahead. I'm no longer ahead. I'm no longer ahead. I've lost. I've lost. And I bottled it. So <laughs> I, I just think that says everything about pressure. If, obviously, I have the pace at this track. I was on pole. I was driving quite my first lap was very very good if i could have done every lap on my first lap i would have won this race i think fairly comfortably but i think the pressure got to me so i'm very interested to know what you think in the comments have you ever felt pressure in gt sport do you think if you'd been in this scenario you would have felt pressure or you would have just been relaxed it doesn't really matter because mentality is such an important part not just of motorsport but of all sport and you see that when you time trial, sometimes if you're in the right state of mind, you can get better lap times and time trial much quickly. And sometimes you're just not in the right frame of mind and time trialing doesn't really get you anywhere. And it's the same in the race. So for, it is a P2. Sometimes you might see in Formula One or other racing drivers on the podium in P2, P3, not, look, not looking very happy. And you might think, well, you're on the podium, you've got a P2, P3, and the drivers look unhappy. This is kind of maybe shows you why you can be in PT and be very unhappy because I felt like I threw it all the way there. It was definitely mine to lose. And the fastest lap was a 38.2 is, is not a very good fastest lap, so I could have done a lot better. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Do drop a like or subscribe if you have. It really helps out the channel. But until next time, happy racing. <laughs>